Okay, and we're here with Deborah McGinnis of RPI, and she is going to start by telling us what she thinks some of the highlights of semantic tech in 2012 were. Over to you. Hi. So I think 2012 was actually a quite, quite a good year for semantic technologies. One thing is there were an increasing number of applications in a broad spectrum. So from many of the lower hanging fruit, I would say, from an expressiveness perspective, there are many applications of open data, um, many applications of mashups, where you have often just small applications of semantics to integrate data, but in powerful ways that allow you to answer questions that you wouldn't have otherwise been able to answer. We saw in um, the conference here, we saw a few examples of some questions that would be hard to get out of any kind of database technology or any kind of technology that anticipates the questions in advance because most of the applications that we're doing with mashups, we don't always anticipate those questions in advance. So we have kind of simple applications, relatively lightweight semantic uh, underpinnings, quick deployment, and increasing usage. So I think that's one kind of highlight for semantic technologies. Another one is a, some domain plays. You know, I don't know that there were too many industries that started new in 2012, but I think the health and life sciences made a lot of jumps. I think media started to make a lot of jumps, and that actually helps us because you hear things, media often hits broader audiences, so you hear more things about uh, some of their work. Um, and the financial services started to make deeper plays as well. Great. Um, so as you look ahead to next year, 2013, uh, what are some of your expectations around how things will evolve? So I'll give you two kinds of answers. One is with my academic hat on, um, and another, actually I should have said this for some of the good things for 2012, we're graduating more students, we're seeing them go into all parts of um, employment from uh, industry to government to startups to big companies. And actually that's another thing for 2012. We're seeing more companies like the Oracles and the IBMs of the world get in semantic technologies in a deeper and broader way. For the future, um, I think there's a lot of really interesting topics. Um, that, so some of them I think center around collaborative work. So I don't think that there's any single best practice for doing collaborative development uh, in sustainable ways. So either collaborative development of ontologies in a broad enough way that you can get wide participation. So I think there's a lot of tools that can be done and a lot of methodologies that can be played out. Um, another thing, one of my research lines is on provenance. I think provenance is starting to get the visibility that it deserves and get the requirements from all segments of the population. And so we're seeing a lot more provenance work um, in terms of tools, in terms of theory. And I think the intelligent assistants, such as the series of the world, are starting to make real inroads. Um, I think actually Apple helped us a lot with their advertisements. I think we, we as the public are starting to realize what this kind of technology can do. And Siri is starting to do some of the low-hanging fruit, as are uh, the General Motors, um, uh, what is it, OnStar, um, as are those kinds of services. But there's so much more that we can do. And so I think actually starting to pull together semantically enabled ecosystems. I think that's one of the hallmarks of uh, the coming year and actually the coming decade. Great. Well, thank you. Sure.